Hello and welcome to this how-to video. Today I want to show you how you can correctly do the visual roof planning with our online Solar Creator tool. All right, we are in the middle of our project here and step number three is called PV Arrays, where we have our visual roof planning. Now, it's an option, you can choose to skip it and scroll further down and do a manual transfer of your desired module data or you can hit this button and do a roof, visual roof planning. This is what I want to showcase you. First of all, if you jump right in, you come to the rough location which you entered in step number one. And here you firstly can um, choose which roof you want to, to add on to. So if you, are, if you are happy, if you have everything centered, you can hit the next button and draw a module area. So this is the outline and you can simply do that by clicking the left mouse button and add some corner points here. Okay, we hit the next button and select if this is a pitched roof or a flat roof. So in our case, of course, it's a pitched roof and the yellow line marks the lower edge of the roof. So in my case, that's already fine. If it would be not, I click the rotate yellow line button until it fits. Now, in the next step, we decide which module we want to use by entering a manufacturer name. And the module can be selected either by scrolling until we find the correct one, or I can highly recommend searching for the watt peak of your desired module. There, it's much faster and easier and offers you all the available VAT uh, or the, all the available modules with the desired VAT. Yeah, next up we decide if it's a portrait orientation or a landscape. The inclination of the roof can be chosen. So how steep is the angle? Let's say this is a 28 degree uh, roof. And the distortion gives you the opportunity if a Google photo is not taken correctly from above, it can look a little bit slanted in this picture here. And by that you can um, choose to work against it. But in my case, I can leave it on zero degrees. As I see here, it looks perfectly fine to me. Yeah, the next step would be to select which space you want to uh, leave like that. So for example, by a click on a specific area, you can delete modules. If, for example, there is a chimney or any other obstruction on the roof, you can choose to skip those places and leave the modules. Or by clicking again on it, you edit. So, for example, on this left hand corner, there, it, it, it appears to be some kind of uh, obstruction on the roof. So, by a simple click, I delete this module and see now a perfect uh, uh, PV module on the roof. Yeah. If I'm happy, I can hit the next button. And now is the question, do you want to add any other more module areas? Then I can click here on add another module area or I can save and exit. Before we do that, we quickly scroll down because we can see here a PV array number one. This is the first that we have drawn here. If we would have drawn a second one, it would be called PV array two. And per array, we can read out module info, general data, roof data, and even the power data. So how many modules have we equipped on here? Yeah, and with a click on save and exit, we leave this window and jump right back into our uh, previous step, the step number three, PV arrays. And what we can see now is that all the data that we have drawn now in the visual roof planning is copied and uh, paste it out here. So the manufacturer, the module, everything is correctly like I have entered it before. Now here we can decide if we have a roof mounted structure or a building integrated because it affects of course the airflow behind the module. And if we have a bifacial module we would be able to add a bifacial power gain up here. Yeah, so that's it for the visual roof planning. I hope this gives you all the information you need to do it correctly for your desired projects.